Hi, this is Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York, and this goes out to all the brand new pipe smokers or uh, will be pipe smokers who really want to try it out. Um, pipe smoking is very, very rewarding. And, uh, but it can be, if you choose the wrong blends to start out with, <clears throat> really turn you off from pipe smoking. Uh, so I've picked out a few different pipes, five or six pipes and five or diff different blends that I would recommend for the new pipe smoker. Uh, so let's start out with the tobaccos. All right. Uh, when I first started smoking a pipe, and I would consider myself a new pipe smoker, although I do smoke a pipe every day. I smoke three to four bowls, maybe five bowls a day at night after I come home from work. It's very rewarding, very relaxing. Get to sit in the comfort of my living room and just puff away. I am a cigarette smoker, uh, so I do like nicotine. And uh, pipe smoking has actually cut my uh, cigarette consumption in half. Because when you do smoke a pipe, you draw that smoke in your mouth and it gets absorbed through the capillaries and mucous membranes in your mouth and uh, you still get the nicotine. So let's get uh, right off the bat. Uh, what you do not want to start out with is a really, really strong tobacco blunt. You want to start out with something mild. Uh, I actually did it the opposite way. Uh, I started out with uh, Captain Black's Captain Black uh, Cherry Aromatic, which is an extremely, extremely strong aromatic. And uh, my first pipe that I ever bought was this Dr. Graybow. Uh, and it was about 50 bucks. Well, well broken in now after a couple of years. And uh, so I started out with that pipe and I, was, I smoked nothing but cherry aromatic. Captain Black cherry aromatic. And my tongue would get sore and all this stuff. Just a very, very strong aromatic. So <clears throat> I do have five or six different tobaccos that I would recommend for any new pipe smoker and they have different tastes obviously so the first one that I have up here is made by Sutliff S-U-T-L-I-F-F -F, and it's called Vanilla Custard now, Sutliff Vanilla Custard, it's a light aromatic, but it just has a beautiful vanilla, creamy taste. It's got burleys in it. It's got all kinds of different tobaccos. I don't need to get into everything that it has in it, but Sutliff Vanilla Custard is definitely, I mean, when you open that bag up, I can smell it through the bag, and that's factory sealed. Oh, my mailman's truck must have just, he must have loved it. And uh, so that's a great tobacco to start with. You can smoke that all day, every day. It's not going to burn your tongue. And uh, that's called tongue bite. Tongue bite is where you have a strong tobacco and it makes it feel like your tongue has been burned. That's why they call it tongue bite. So, uh, my first one for a new pipe smoker would be Sutliff Vanilla Custard. And, oh, that is to die for. Yes. So, my second one that I have here is Scotty's Butternut Burley. And it gives you a taste of, like, butter and... 
the burly, it just, uh, it's so smooth, definitely an all-day smoke. And when I say an all-day smoke, that means that you can smoke it all day long, out of your pipe, it's not going to hurt your tongue, it won't give you tongue bite. That is a great blend. Write it down. Scotty's Butternut Burley. And the smell is just unbelievable. It has like a creamy vanilla type of smell, a buttery smell. It just is a fantastic blend. So that is number two on my list for the new pipe smoker. Then next we have... Uh, this is made by East India Trading Company. It's called Officer's Blend. And this has actually uh, vanilla and rum in it. And it is just gentle as can be. Oh. That's good. That is another good blend. That's, that's a great blend for the new pipe smoker. So that's number three. Number four, if you like a little smokier type of smoke that's not going to kill your tongue or anything like that, it's made by GLPs. It's called Caravan. And it's very, very smoky. Now, Let's get into uh, the different types of tobacco that I own, all right, the different forms, let's say. You have GLPs. This is all loose. It's all loose tobacco. That's all loose tobacco. It's not compressed or anything like that. So Caravan by GLPs is another great choice for the beginning smoker. All right. Then what you have, so you have the loose tobacco and then you have uh, what's called plug. Now plug tobacco is something I would definitely steer away the new tobacco smoker from. This is extremely strong. Uh, and what they do is they layer leaf after leaf after leaf after leaf after leaf of different types of tobacco. They compress it into like a, just almost like a brownie. I mean, that's extremely strong. I would stay away from that from the beginning. It does take some preparation. Uh, if you're brave enough, go ahead and buy it. Uh, and then the uh, one, two, three, four. The fifth one, and this is a different type of blend. So we've looked at the loose tobacco. We've looked at the uh, plug tobacco, and this is called crumble cake, uh, which basically is loose tobacco, which is compressed under great pressure into a cube. And that you can either cut off or break it off. You rub it between your hands and so forth. And it, uh, then you can smoke that. This blend is a great blend uh, for the new pipe smoker. It's called Pirate Cake. It's made by Cornell and Deal. Yeah, Pirate Cake. So we have one, two, three, four, five different blends. Six different blunts for the new pipe smoker. I'm going to pause the video for a minute. I'll be right back. And we'll do our different pipes I would recommend for the new pipe smoker. All right, Paul the Pipe Guy is back. And uh, so, like I was sharing with you, so now let's choose the pipe that you want. All right, you can start out, uh, and I do have one corn cob pipe. I don't know what I did with it. I've never even smoked it. Uh, but you can buy those for 10, 15, 20 bucks. All right, but a lot of people like briar, and briar comes from the root of a bush. And uh, it's 
a beautiful wood. So the first pipe I ever bought was a Dr. Graybow. And uh, I don't use filters in my pipes or anything like that. It just clogs things up. So uh, that's the first pipe I ever bought a little over two years ago. Very well broken in. For 50 bucks, you can just buy one of these, all right? Now, keep in mind, if you only own one pipe, you can't smoke it seven days a week, all right? You can smoke it for one day, maybe two days at the most, and then you have to let it rest and let all of the uh, condensation and, you know, moisture build up, evaporate out of the briar. So... Back, you know, that's why a lot of people will own at least seven or eight pipes so they can rotate them. But I started out with this one pipe, and I did. I smoked it every day, <laughs> you know. And uh, so Dr. Graybow is a very, very good choice. If you're going to buy, if you, if you want to start pipe smoking, don't cheap out. Don't be like, okay, I'm going to buy this $5, God knows what I, it's made out of, pipe. You won't have a good experience. If you're going to start smoking a pipe between the blend, uh, between the pipe tool, which you have to have one of these, it's got a pick and a tamper, uh, so between the pipe, the pick and the tamper, and the tobacco, you're going to spend 70, 80 bucks, all right? Unless you buy a corn cob pipe, then you're going to spend 15, 20, 25. Then you're going to spend about 35 to 40 bucks between the tobacco, the pipe tool, which is a must have. Uh, you can refer to my video on how to smoke a pipe. Uh, so that is my first one. And then uh, my second brand new one was a Dr. Graybow Omega pipe. And that's another pipe for around 50 bucks. I bought that. Now, if you want to go on the cheaper side, you can on eBay buy vintage pipes. Now, this uh, is a K-Woody, which uh, it's a Model 600. So either a Model 500 or a Model 600 K-Woody. That was an entry-level K-Woody. Keep in mind, they have a stinger system that you have to totally clean out. That's the stinger. Um, whereas the Dr. Graybow pipe... You just, oh, you're going to need pipe cleaners too, which are cheap. They're like, I don't know, a dollar or two a bundle. And so the Dr. Graybow pipe doesn't have that. Uh, so the other pipes that I would recommend are made by Mr. Brog, B-R-O-G-G. And these are some great pipes that you can get between 20 and 80 bucks. They're handmade in Poland. Uh, I have two Dr. Graybows, or I'm sorry, two Mr. Brog pipes here. And uh, they're awesome pipes. Actually, that one's a Peterson. Peterson is another one where you can pick that up between 50 and 80 bucks. Actually, more towards 70 to 80 bucks. So if you're entry level, you can go on eBay, get a Model 5 or 600 K Woody, or any old pipe that's on there. Just make sure the stem is in good shape. Or you can buy a Dr. Graybow. Uh, this is another one. It's a Hilson pipe that I bought off of eBay, vintage. I think I paid like 30 or 40 bucks for that great smoking pipe. So, those are some of the pipes that a beginner pipe smoker, in my recommendation, 
uh, should start with, and those tobacco blunts. So, if you want to smoke a pipe, try that out. If you want more information on how to smoke a pipe, I just did a video on that. Uh, if you want more information on what other blends that are good, send me a message. If you want more information on, well, you know, what pipe should I start with, send me a message. We can talk about it. It's just a great, great, relaxing, unbelievable hobby to smoke. There's nothing like coming home after a long day and just sitting back and smoking a bowl of some great tobacco. So any of you new pipe smokers or even any of you seasoned pipe smokers, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the bucket list. I answer every single question. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. On the new pipe smoker, what kind of tobacco should you do? use and what kind of pipes paul the pipe guy live from rochester new york over and out